Get ready for Eric Clapton live in Bangkok. The King of Guitar on Sunday, March 2nd at the Impact Arena. 20 years of hit after hit, 6 Grammys and 19 million albums sold. Book now at tieticketmajor.com. Presented by BEC Tarot and locally sponsored by Class Act Media. Anti-government protesters were celebrating in Phuket this week after the Provincial Election Commission decided to call off pre-election voting on the island. Three polling stations were meant to have opened to allow people in Phuket who wouldn't be here for the polls to vote and for people from other provinces but living in Phuket to do the same. A man and his mother were found dead earlier this week after a shooting in Katu following a heated argument over a land rental contract. Police found the body of a 37-year-old man and his 59-year-old mother, both Thai nationals. Both had been shot. A 43-year-old man who rented an open area near the house for his rice and curry shop has confessed to the crime. A 27-year-old man is dead after getting hit by a six-wheel truck on the bypass road in Brichada. According to the investigation, he was riding his motorbike to work in Patong when the van in front of him made a sudden left-hand turn, forcing him to swerve into a truck coming from behind. CCTV footage shows the truck driver fleeing from the scene. The National Disaster Warning Centre is replacing a tsunami warning buoy in the Indian Ocean after deciding a repair wouldn't be worthwhile. It was out of position and hadn't been sending information like it was supposed to. A new warning buoy will be positioned this month. The site is around 1,000 kilometres west of the island. Luckily, there hasn't been a tsunami in the last month or so. Police are warning that bag snatchers are hanging out around Surakul Stadium, just behind the Central Festival East Complex. On January 24th, a Thai woman had her bag snatched in the morning. She was riding her bike when a young man rode up alongside and grabbed her bag from between her legs. Police say there's been a number of similar robberies in the same area. A Hungarian man who was lost and found around Kamala back on January 11th has turned up this week barefoot on a street in Phuket town. Farkas Boiler was found in Kamala. It was believed that he was probably suffering from Alzheimer's. He was put into a hotel and his family were contacted, who then arranged a flight for him to return to Switzerland. But it looks like Farkas checked himself out four days later and has been a regular visitor to Wachira Hospital where he's been looking for food. This time he's on a flight next Tuesday. Bless him, he looks very cute in that picture. Efforts to turn Phuket's old town into a first-class tourism site continue. The mayor of Phuket town has signed up to a network with Songkla and Chiang Mai, both of which have established old town foundations to get some tips. We're going to hear more about the progress when announcements are made as part of the Chinese New Year celebrations starting February 7th. And whilst we're talking about it, Phuket's iconic Old Town Festival is returning for another year. It's on from February 7th to 9th when Telang, Soi Romani, Krabi, Phuket, Tapkasetri and Pengna Roads are turned into walking streets. There are three main objectives of the festival to develop and conserve culture, to promote the area and to encourage all Phuket residents to contribute to the promotion of the Phuket Old Town. The effects of the ongoing political protests in Thailand are starting to bite. Figures out this week show Australian travellers abandoning Phuket as the media coverage and government warnings are taking their toll on bookings. Since October, there's been a startling 88% decrease in Australians looking for accommodation on the island. A man is dead after falling down the stairs of his apartment building in Patong, hitting his head. Rescue workers were called to the Chutima apartment building on the 31st of January. They found Australian national Aidan Medsik in a critical condition and despite efforts to revive him, he died on the way to hospital. Two Russian tourists have been rescued by fishermen off Phuket. They were spotted floating in the sea between Koh Ma Prao and Koh Mali, a good kilometre from the nearest land. The pair were staying at the village Coconut Island Beach Resort. They'd gone canoeing but got into trouble when their canoe was swamped. 
A German couple have been found and rescued from forest after getting lost. 52-year-old Jorgis Stempel called police at around 7pm on Wednesday evening to report that he and his wife were lost. Just after midnight, the couple were located and escorted out of the woods. The couple were full of praise and gratitude for their rescuers. A dramatic sinking of a Phuket dive boat was captured on video this week in Eko Ta Chai. The boat was holed when it ran over something in the water on Tuesday, which was rammed into the hull by the propeller. Luckily, another boat, the Peter Pan, was close by to rescue all on board. The boat sank so fast that passengers had to leap for their lives, many of them having no time to put on life jackets. The Aladdin capsized and took just minutes to sink in 25 metres of water. Unbelievably, no one was seriously hurt in the incident. So that's the way we saw last week's news. Never a dull moment here on the island. To keep up with all the latest news, go to thephuketnews.com.